Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh no, oh, that's not good. That is not good. I don't actually see where the bear is. Okay, he's here, he's here. Okay, we're gonna try to delay. Cardinal, what the heck? Cardinal, what the heck? No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, chase me, you big lug. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where everything is havoc as it typically is. Uh, I haven't even finished the freaking cardinal. Go in the den. I haven't even finished s s sitting here with, with, with Starling. I didn't even get to finish the, the, day, the day out and there's suddenly a bear here. My gosh. This is, this is chaos. This run has been just absolute and utter chaos for some reason. I don't even know what it has been, but this has felt like one of the most intense runs we've ever had. I'm glad that I started barking to the pups because I didn't even see the bear. Uh, I just wanted them to stop running off so far so that this wouldn't happen. My word. Well, I guess while I'm here, I might as well get a drink of water. But yeah, we are here with Lark and Ren of our Wayfinders pack. And, uh, well, Wayfinders Descendant, their pack is the Summit pack. But my goodness, um, let's, uh, let's get the puffs back out in the open because <laughs> we are trying to sit with, uh, Starling because poor Starling has also fallen ill. Unfortunately, last episode we did lose Heron to illness. Uh, fortunately, Grouse, though, recovered and now Starling is sick again. Uh, and Gull almost got taken by a bear the last time, so I am very, very nervous of that now, uh, especially with the pups that are lower health. It looks like Grouse is starting to recover, uh, but very, very slowly, so... Where where did Starling... Okay, Starling's over there. Falcon, do not wander off this far, and Gull, I see you wandering as well. Good heavens. I'm probably going to just let these guys chill for a little bit more, stay with Starling as much as we can. We are going to have to worry about the territory because that is starting to go, but I don't think we will do that until the next day. In fact, we might want to actually sleep a little bit now. Uh, I don't know how much we should risk or not. We'll, we'll see, I suppose. We'll catch up with these guys again in a little bit. Okay, I opted to take a little bit of a risk by sleeping again, but I want to make sure that we have enough time to keep the pup's food up too. Because while they're not very hungry now, if we aren't careful, they will be. It looks like Ren has fed them a little bit, but the other thing that I do want to do is try to mark some of this territory. Ideally, we'll try to hunt there because I don't actually trust our carcass. Um, I suspect that that's going to be fading. So I wanted to take advantage of having a mostly full food. Okay, go, 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 go. Or sleep meter. Sleep meter is what I meant to say. Everybody in the... Okay. Everybody in the in the den, in the den, in the den. Falcon, hurry. Falcon, hurry. All right, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Everybody's in the den. Everybody's in the den. Good, we can wreck these heckers. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cottonwood Creek again. Oh my goodness, these guys are relentless. They just will not leave us alone. It's these same two wolves that keep attacking us too, I think. If we look at our known wolves... Um, well, maybe... Oh, maybe it's not. No, we've seen a few of them. I thought it was maybe the same ones. We've got some yearlings, though, it looks like. Yeah. Not a, not a fan of these guys hecking around. Coyote Creek is the one that we have been clashing with, though. But yeah, what I want to do is, while we are, um... While we are, are hungry, I'm going to try to do a hunt, ideally in the area that we've lost some territory. So I'm hoping that by doing that, that will let us balance our food and spending time with Starling. I don't want to be gone long at all. We need to really hurry. Which direction are we even going this way? So we really need to hurry because I don't want to be gone long. But I think this is going to be worth doing because we want to make sure that we have enough food. We want to make sure we keep that up, especially as we're getting into the season where the pups actually can eat meat chunks and stuff. Because I think we're pretty close to that. Uh, we just don't want to spend so long staying at the den that we neglect everything else. We just also don't want to spend so much time away from it that we never have the companionship boost. So let's go this way and see if that's a coyote. You guys can get out of here. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to just let those hexes fade because I don't remember where the rendezvous sites are. 
My concern is that we'll have to migrate in that direction, but I don't necessarily think we will. I think there are rendezvous up here, and if so, I think we'll be okay to stay at one. We're just gonna have to be a little bit careful. And uh, the pr bigger priority right now is gonna be finding food. Uh, I really don't think that carcass we brought down the last time is still gonna have much because we have slept a few times since making that kill. If we happen to be by it, but I don't think we will. Uh, I'm gonna mark here though. Um, we might check it, but I just, I don't think that's gonna be the case. So let's, uh, let, let's, let's head back up and see if we can smell anything that is worth hunting. Even if we can get just a little food, it's better than nothing. I'm just really watching how long we're staying away. It's better to do this now than later when we're really pressed for time, because it needs to get done, but yeah, we are we are juggling priorities here for sure. Oh, I smell the elk herd somewhere over here. All right, that takes priority. Except I don't know, did the wind direction just change? That's the Cottonwood Creek Wolves. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we might have we might have lost that scent immediately. No! It was coming from somewhere this way. I think we've still got a good chance of picking it up again if we head in this direction. But we have to be careful. Okay, yes, right up here. Here we go. Uh, we should be fine. This is the white bark herd. I don't know where all the herds are on this map. But this one should hopefully not be too far away. We are quite close to the... We are actually on top of the den. Uh, in fact, right there is the den. So as long as we skirt it and then go this way, we should be fine. This is going to be a pretty close herd, I think. Are they right out in this field, actually? Oh, that'd be good if they are. I think they might be pretty nearby. Oh, this is a different herd. The dogwood herd. Well, we lost the other scent, so I can only hope this one isn't too far off. Here we are, okay. We just gotta herd these guys back towards the den area a little bit. Fortunately, they've run pretty quickly. And hopefully, I don't think we have babies yet. I think it's probably just before that, because we are getting quite close to 15 pounds. So as long as we can make a quick kill, we should be able to get back and still have some time to spend with Starling. Ren is testing the herd as she often does. Oh, you can stay down. You're not as weak as you could be, but we got a good we got a good bite before she uh, was able to stand up. So that'll help us. Ooh, 31 damage is good. Yeah, we'll be just fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, but it's all right. She's low enough that it does not really matter. Come on. There we go. All right. This will be food for now. And uh, we should be good to head back. Okay, here's the den. Are they... If I put this down, will they go to it to eat? Not just yet. Okay, so they're not quite ready for solid food yet. At some point, we'll be able to bring back uh, the... Um, actual meat chunks for them directly. And that'll make things a little bit easier. But it's all right. We just, the main thing that matters right now is spending time with Starling. Uh oh, okay, that's not, that's not as bad as it could be to work with. Nope, Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. Go back in the den, go back in the den, go back in the den. I know you are named after a bird, but that does not mean you'll be safe from one. Nope, all right, uh, grab him then, because otherwise we are going to have a bad time. I was staying in the den because I looked at the flea load and I decided it was worth the risk. But I don't want to risk Falcon running around for this. I maybe should have just stayed in the den. But I wasn't sure if we'd have any pups that wanted, would pop out like this if I did that. I don't know if they can leave the den if you're in there with them or not. I'm not actually sure if that's a thing that can happen. But this seemed like the safer option. Uh, eventually the eagle will get tired. There we go. We can head back in. Oh boy. I think this will be better, though, because even though we are struggling a little bit with the flea load, it's not as bad as it could be, and this guarantees that we can spend a lot of time right by Starling, and uh, I hope it's enough. There's not much we can do but hope we're at 31% wakefulness and he's at 19% health. Oh, that's a relief. 
I was sleeping incrementally to try to get a last little bit of, uh, of energy back. But it seems that Starling has recovered. Thank goodness. All right, now we sleep for real. I don't want to just don't want to do that in the den uh, because we will <laughs> we will increase the flea load a lot. And as you can see, Lark is already scratching. Okay. Ah, 20% health too. He's recovered some even in that brief little snooze. Okay, 90% hunger. I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna let these guys uh, sleep a couple of times and then we'll see where we are with the territory. Oh, here we go. All right. We are, we're getting pretty close. I am gonna send these guys back in the den though because it did occur to me it would probably be good to go for food. We still have a carcass pretty close, but now we can also look at rendezvous sites. Good, all right. There's several that are actually quite close to it, so I think we'll do that. We'll run back to our carcass and we'll take a look at some of these, uh, oh, oh, good, 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 all right. Uh, good to good to know that uh, the babies are out and about as well. We should be good, we should be back on track now. Whew, the sickness in this can be rough. Sometimes it kind of just grinds the entire game to a halt, but hopefully that'll be the worst of it until we get, at least until we get to the rendezvous site and maybe if we're lucky for the rest of the game, but I don't know. Uh, this game likes to throw curveballs at us sometimes. In any case, we should be able to go get food Yes, Ren is coming with us. We want her to eat as well. And then I'll check out some of these different rendezvous sites and see if any of them catch my eye. Oh, not you again. Get out of here. I'm not sure if this is going to be worth it. Oh, goodness. He's going after Ren. I'm just going to try to, like, steal as much of this as I can, I think. Oh, there's, uh, there's deer running, too. I, I don't know. I just... If, if Ren is able to keep his attention and not get herself too hurt in the process, then I think that might be the way to do it, because we should be able to yoink some, uh, some meat chunks as well. Can I... can I grab the rest of this as a meat chunk? Oh, she's gonna grab that. Oh, watch out, Ren. All right, I think we're gonna be just fine. We'll we'll leave the leave the scraps for him. <laughs> um, a minor injury is not great, but you know what? It could be worse. And is that gonna get you up to fairly full? Eighty-eight. Yeah, that'll be full enough, I think. Especially if you find anything else along the way. Aha. Okay. <laughs> there we are. So I've actually been looking at all the different rendezvous sites uh, in the area, and I believe this is the one that we're looking for because I wanted a specific one since there's actually an achievement tied to it. You can see that there's a little bit of a structure over there that I will investigate further in a moment so that we don't uh, get absolutely mauled by Stranger Wolves. This is Coyote Creek. We're stealing from them again. I don't know why. I think they've just been so preoccupied taking over what's left of Geo's territory that they're pretty much just leaving us alone. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the achievement rendezvous, I think, and so I figured while we're up here uh, north of the park border, we may as well actually try to snag this while we're here. Uh, so this is the hunter's lean-to. Poke around in a moment, and uh, there is an achievement for, for staying here for a few days. I think it's like five or something like that. Most of the rendezvous ones are five, I think. So let's mark this. We'll claim this here. We are going to have to shift our whole territory over though, because even though this den is the most appropriately placed for it, like I picked the northernmost den in hopes that that would be helpful. Uh, but wow, there's actually quite a few rendezvous that are above the border. And uh, this is, happens to be the one that we're looking for. There's not a lot of dens this far up, so it's still going to be quite a yet trek to get here. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a little little campsite here set up. Oh, here we go, hunting lean to a fur coat is better shelter, so we can uh, we can we can go under if we want, but we don't have a lot of time for it. So I think what I'm gonna actually do is swing by, go south, try to snag those two hexes that are um, wearing out a little bit, because that'll at least give us the start of this, and then eventually we'll probably want to slide in here and claim even more territory. But we can do that over the summer. I just want to have this mostly claimed so that when we go on what's gonna be a heck of a trek uh we we are actually able to get there but we gotta move it we're losing affinity and uh, we're losing wakefulness so we gotta get back to the pups and uh, make sure that they are doing all right we, we want to hurry on this because we're probably gonna be leaving for the rendezvous pretty soon our lowest weight pups are 14.3 so i think the next morning will be when we leave 
Okay, we just about made it back. And uh, I think we're just gonna feed the pups, rest, and then set out. Now I was thinking about it. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to carry most of our stuff with us, because you know we've been we've been hoarding all those uh, all those little collectibles. But that's gonna be quite the trek to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with. So I think we're gonna have to make a decision here. Cardinal, goodness, calm down. <laughs> Can't keep up with you. Uh, I think of all of the all the collectibles we found the. Coyote decoy is probably the most iconic. So I think we're gonna bring it with us and we will uh, we will leave it in the lean-to and uh, probably scare the living daylights out of whatever whatever hunter left the stuff out here uh, if he comes back to it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys fed, get them play with, played with rest again, and uh, I think come morning is probably gonna be when we'll have to set out. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. We've got a bunch of pups out in the open. Oh, Falcon, please. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to protect the pups that are uh, that are out and running. I want to get everybody in. Okay. Um, gosh. All right, Starling. No! Oh, that was too close. Go in the den, please. I've lost sight of a pup. Okay, Gull is still running. I'm grabbing Falcon. Oh, Cardinal's out as well. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's not good. I think Gull is going back to the den. Probably. Hopefully. It looks like it. Okay, we're gonna follow Cardinal. <laughs> one last, one last eagle attack for the road. Can you please go back in the den? Oh my goodness, gross. Okay. Ren is watching, Ren is watching. Please go in the den. Please go in the den. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna have to grab Falcon again. Cardinal's gotten way too far away. Okay, okay, no! Oh, that stupid eagle. I really need to be allowed to bite the eagles. I, I think it is absolutely criminal because I'm going to tear that bird's feathers off. Ah. <sighs> Good heavens, right as we're about to leave, too. There's just no rest for the weary. All right. Ugh, that's a bitter victory. Wish it would have come a moment sooner, but we are finally free of this den and free of those dang eagles. I don't know why they gave us so much trouble at this den in particular, but I guess that's what we get for naming the pack after birds. Under cover of darkness can have its blessings and its curses, but we've got a long journey ahead of us, so I think we'd best get moving. Um, we're gonna want to be a little bit careful. We also are gonna need to get these guys some food at some point, so I will probably try to find somewhere for them to uh, to to stop and eat. We might want to try to find a um, mother elk or mule deer or pronghorn along the way. See if we can get some food. Or you know what? Or hares. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's that's a start. There's less grass on this journey than I'd hoped. There's only a few patches scattered here and there. We're making good headway at least. We're moving quite fast. But boy, I am not, not fond of how many wide open areas there are and we're about to go down into the ravine. We might want to stop and wait for daytime, or at least to hunt. This looks like it should be a rendezvous, but it's not. Yeah, I think we're going to want to keep moving, though. We also want to make sure we have enough time to spend at the rendezvous site, so we got to get there kind of quickly. Well, we made it to the water here, at least, so that's something. We're going to have to be careful about crossing. And this is definitely one of the bigger, bigger rivers that we are able to cross in this game. Is it walkable? It is at least shallow. Okay, are we able to get everyone across? Careful, y'all. I think we're gonna be fine. Falcon, come on. There we go. Starling is lingering in the water. I think we might want to find a place here to pause. Yeah, maybe we'll stop 
here because this is a this is a hair I think yeah I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna find some more substantial prey though I've been hunting hares but I think we need to find something a little bit bigger let's actually leave these guys here for a moment and see about getting some food uh, because that's gonna be important I think and also these guys are um, a little bit tired so they're gonna start to not travel very well I think we need to see if we can do a quick hunt and maybe one of these mule deer would be a good candidate for it. actually because if you pass through pretty recently it's a doe mule deer yeah I think so I think this will be fine especially on the slopes I think we have an advantage Ren is coming with us and yes, I think she's running right up ahead. Yep. We should be able to hunt her down here, I think. If we're if we're careful, we should be good. Here we go. Oh, okay. are we gonna be able to get a bite? We might. Even just a little bit? No, but Ren will. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, that'll do wonders for slowing her down. She's come all the way up on the slopes here. I wanna see if we can drive her back down towards them by kind of cutting her off a bit here. That bite should do a lot, though. That'll 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 do quite a lot, uh, because that'll start to wear her out. And I think the lower her health is, the slower she'll run. Okay, are we able to get closer? Is she still well enough to pronk? I don't think so. So that's gonna help. Uh, I guess it, you probably don't call it pronking with the. I, it's starting with the mule deer pronking for the pronghorn. In any case, she is uh, no longer no longer energized enough to do it. I think that bite took a lot out of her. Oh, she's thinking about thinking about trying to turn around. I want her to try to run back down towards where the pups are, though. I think that'd be that'd be ideal because right now she's way up on this hill. No, Ren, careful! You're driving her the wrong way. She's way up on the mountain right now, and that's not going to serve us very well. Uh, we're going to want her to be a little bit closer. We might we might just need to take the kill here. That would not be the end of the world, I don't think. Oh, she's going back the right way now. Yeah, we'll be all right. We're close enough to him now that it'll be easy to ferry food back to him if we need to. There we go. In fact, with how hungry we are, we may not even need to. We might be able to eat our fill here, and that might be just fine. It'll do well enough, I think. Uh, we can feed these guys the hair that I just caught. This will be enough enough food for everybody, I think. We can make sure they get to eat. And with that, I think we will go ahead and leave this off here. The pups are up to almost 16 pounds. We're getting there. We're making good headway, at least. And we're more than halfway there on the journey. But the next bit is going to be the most dangerous, because we are button up against Stranger Wolf territory. I have a feeling they may decide to come after us. But when they do, we're going to want to have some fresh energy, so we're going to need to sleep the night uh, and uh, get started once again in the morning. But I'm going to go ahead and leave off this episode here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.